especially in this momentous occasion. Uh, firstly, I'd like to ask you that how do you think the luxury space, the perception of luxury has changed over the last decade and what do you think has uh, driven this change? Well, first of all, uh, happy 25th to all of you at CNBC TV 18. And to your question, I think the luxury space has just exploded in the last 5, 7, 10 years or so in India in particular, but in many other parts of the world as well. And that's largely on the back of significant rise in incomes and wealth, you know, as more and more countries become richer and richer and the rich become richer in any case. So I think on the back of that, as newer, younger people join the consuming classes, you do find whether it is automobiles, whether it is luxury bags, whether it's class of travel, whether it's perfumes, whether it's, you know, all kind paintings, art, etc., etc. So it is reflecting the fact that the world has become much wealthier and the range of products and services people want has expanded. Right. And, and what are the trends that you see coming up in the luxury space in the next few years? Well, I guess, uh, you know, there is going to be this endless debate about all the technology change. Will it touch luxury at all? Right? Because right now, a lot of things which are considered luxury are very bespoke, very manual, very human made, right. a fine dress, a watch, you know, things like that. So I think that would be the one to watch out for, whether technology which has touched every other aspect of our life, right. whether it will start impacting goods and services which are classified as luxury. And you did mention the young and affluent uh, customers who are coming into the market and they have a lot of influence as well. So how are you going to address you know, the Gen Z and the millennials uh, going forward? Yeah, so I, I think, for example, at HSBC, we are making an active effort to spend more time. Most of me and my senior colleagues are spending much more time with the Gen Z and the younger crowd because that's my customer as well, mm. right? And we need to understand, and it is a fact that this crowd, uh, the younger lot, does think differently, mm. does behave differently, has different priorities in terms of a lot of things. So unless you understand the audience, you cannot produce a product. So I guess just engagement, communication, keeping your eyes and ears open is the way forward here. And talking about CNBC per se, how has CNBC contributed to your journey over the years in your life? Well, see, HSBC is a, is a, is a financial market super house, right? A powerhouse, so to speak. And the fact that there is a channel out there which is actively promoting financial literacy. Right. That obviously works to the advantage of the entire financial sector. I think even many of the speakers here have also uh, mentioned that. So as you and as you might be aware, our audience is typically the more affluent, the more wealthy. Therefore, it does invest in the stock market and therefore it does watch the CNBC TV 18 channel. And then it looks at, OK, do I have a good wealth advisor or not? Or do I have a bank which can help me take you around the world or not from exports, imports, FDI, etc. So, the growth of CNBC TV 18 and the growth of HSBC in India is more or less in the same direction, hopefully at the same pace as well. And finally, how do you see India's growth in the next 25 years and how do you see yourself contributing to it? No, I, I think almost all of us recognize and agree that the next two to three decades are India's decades, right? There are multiple driving forces, demographics, the digital public infrastructure, the excellent financial regulations and regulators we've had the improvement in physical infrastructure, this particular uh, concert room itself, right? So the possibilities are all there and I think it is such just for us to execute, right? It is execute, execute, execute and make sure we don't make too many mistakes in the process. Any last words for CNBC TV 18? Happy birthday. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Thank you so much, sir, for joining us. I'd like to start by asking you, what's your early memory or favorite memory of being associated with CNBC TV 18? Well, I, I actually started interviewing with CNBC TV 18 way back, almost 2006 or 7 or something like that. And when I look at some of those pictures and images, my eyes start watering because there is so much more hair and so much more black hair. So that's my first memory. Uh, unfortunately, uh, it is what it is. Also, you've been a part of the CNBC journey. How have you seen this evolution happen over the last 20, 25 years? Yeah, no, I think the main thing is the passion with which you and your colleagues, you know, go about it every day. It's, it's you know, to find news every minute, every hour uh, is not easy, right? And that to maintain that passion, that excitement, that authenticity uh, is, is, the one, is the one remarkable feature that I would like to mention to you. Sure. Th uh, firstly, uh, thank you so much, obviously, for being a part of this milestone moment with CNBC TV. Going forward, we've done the 25 years. Going forward, how do you envision the next 25 years? 
No, I think just as for the country, for every business, right? Next 25 years will be better than the last 25 years. That's just a given for everything and everything that will happen in India. Everybody and everything that will happen in India. We just have to make sure that we are innovating constantly. All of us, you have to, I have to, your channel management has to, right? We are cons innovating constantly, refreshing our proposition, aligning to what the consumer wants, in your case, what the audience wants. And to not just rest on your laurels. Last 25 years for you have been great, for us have been great, but the next 25 will offer enormous opportunity, but for those who are willing to do go the extra mile. Sure. Lastly, what's the one word that comes to your mind when you think of CNBC TV 18? Passionate. Passionate. That's what Thank I mean. you so much.